The first AC-130J Ghost Rider gunship arrived at Hurlburt Field for flight trials. Lieutenant Colonel Brett DeAngelis is in charge of testing the aircraft. It's, it's amazing. Uh, AC-130s have a tremendous heritage and legacy throughout the Department of Defense. And it's an incredible opportunity to be able to continue to build on that with a new airplane and all the great people and work that's being done for it, so I'm very excited. The mission of Detachment 2 is to train an experienced cadre for the AC-130J and also operationally test and evaluate the aircraft before AFSOC begins producing more AC-130Js. New technology should help maintainers identify problems better than ever. Uh, the J model is a lot more user friendly than the legacies were. Uh, every time the plane lands, we do a debrief, and when we do a debrief, it gives us a list of stuff that failed, any kind of problems that happened, and I can tell you after a flight when they close the, the hatch. I can tell you when they put the gear up. But with the Legacies, you can't do that. The only way you know stuff is with the, what the aircraft puts down. I think it's going to help us better maintain our aircraft, help make it last longer. Both the pilots and maintainers say the new design makes the Ghost Rider a powerful, efficient, force-protecting gunship. Uh, with the ACJ, we've taken the best of the legacy gunships, the previous gunships, and tried to get it molded into one airframe. Uh, on a newer, moder modernized airframe, uh, should be more efficient and take all the good from everything else and keep the legacy going for the gunship. Testing the AC-130J Ghost Rider gunship at Hurlburt Field provides the crew with combat experienced airmen and an environment similar to operational conditions. The J model allows pilots to provide better support to the troops on the ground. I'd say the performance of the C-130J is just great, a lot greater than uh, AC-130H or the U model. We'll be able to take off uh, heavier weights and just have a longer loiter time for the ground guys in the end. DET-2 airmen are determined to make the AC-130J one of the most respected aircraft in the force today. Of course, we're trying to build upon the same AFSOC combat priorities. We want to provide the best training possible. We want to provide and make this airplane safe and reliable. And we want to build a culture with our maintainers of always doing the job right, always doing maintenance by the book, and always providing the operators with the tools, which is the airplane, to provide that close combat support and support our brothers and sisters at arms that's the job of the AC-130 gunship. Even with all the changes brought by the new AC-130J, Detachment 2 is staying true to the Air Force Special Operations Command objective. Airman First Class Bryson Guerrero, Hurlburt Field, Florida.